And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get the action back on the way. And so, please welcome, firstly, to the blue corner from York, Liam Borough. Well, from wherever you're watching at home, a very warm welcome to the O2 Arena in London. The fifth instalment of the Muay Thai Grand Prix Series, a terrific undercard saw Marley's Weinenberg crown the ISKA English champion at 76 kilos. Five more titles up for grabs tonight, including the Muay Thai Grand Prix Bantam, Feather and Welterweight titles respectively. Charlie Peters defending his crown at 66 kilos for the main event, a return the 10-time world champion, the Aussie, John Wayne Carr. Chris Lloyd and Dave Benson ringside, bringing you all of the action for the main card tonight. Oh, Liam Barra! Now, please welcome to the red corner from Bexley Village, Kent. James to me. And as you heard, the uh, scheduled ISKA English title, 68 kilos, has well been postponed until October. Michael Pham with an eye infection, and you can see from the uh, photos from the weigh-in, very very red eyes. So I'm not sure what the problem specifically has been, but a real shame because Michael Pham, an excellent fan favourite, and he's fought brilliantly here at the O2 Arena in London in previous Muay Thai Grand Prix meets, so I'm sure he'll be back and he'll be uh, raring to go come October. And meanwhile, the belt has been given by default to Michael Kalunga, so he, as it stands, holds the ISKA English title at 68 kilos, so we move through to fight 13 on the main card. Liam Brow, who's already in the ring from Legion's gym. And this is uh, entering the ring for the double K gym. James Toomey in the red corner. James Toomey! And ladies and gentlemen, this A-class full Muay Thai rules bout will take place in the minus 63 kilogram division over five three-minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Legion's Gym in York, please welcome Liam Barra! And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing Double K Jim in Bexley Village, Kent. It's Mr. Nasty James Toomey. So the first of the main card here at the Muay Thai Grand Prix. The O2 in London, Chris Lloyd and Dave Fenson ringside bringing you all of the action through to the main event this evening. Liam Brout in the blue corner. James Toomey from Double K in the red. What a great night's action we've had so far already, Dave. Yeah, definitely, and it's about to be taken up a level. Like you say, in the main card now. 63 kilos, full tie rules, ladies and gentlemen. First full tie rules bout of the evening. Knees and elbows are allowed to the head. And uh, the first thing that strikes me is Liam Bro is uh, very, very tall. He is indeed. And uh, long limb too, so James Toomey. Have to maybe work to get on the inside. Yeah, this has the makings of a great fight. Liam, uh, Legion's gym there. Held out by... Uh, Andy Housen in the corner too. Multiple world champion. Needs no introduction. Nice sweep from James Toomey. Taking the leg away from Liam Brout. Of course, this one over five three-minute rounds. The round length and distance does 
vary a little as the night goes on, but of course, for the uninformed of you, we'll keep you up to date. Yeah, you can see Liam already trying to get his measure of his elbows. Using his range well, but Toomey is strong. Tough, tough lad he is. And Dave, do you think in the clinch, the, the shorter man is, is more favoured in that position, or is it, is it an know, advantage would, to have height? I would generally favour the taller man if he knows how to hold position, if he knows how to tie the arms up. Like there, he didn't tie Toomey's right arm up, so got into a position there, but both lads letting the elbows go a bit early days. A body kick from Brout, counter with the right hand to the body from Toomey. Another body kick there. Yeah, Brout timing that uh, left body kick nicely. It likes him push his hip in a little bit more and stop Toomey in his track. That was a stronger kick. You heard the slap. Oh, the good back response. By, yeah, one of his own. When we talk about gaining dominance in the clinch, Dave, what kind of things are we looking for? How are the hands positioned and manoeuvred? Well, you'll notice if they tie the arms up, especially for elbows, that's the problem. I mean, I'd expect the taller guy to use his forearms to, to bridge that distance, keep Toomey at bay so he can throw his own knees. But neither guy tying the arms up massively at the moment they don't need to they're clinching in a different range very close and favoring to elbow on the way in but you'll see if they get into the clinch nice little dump there uh, if they get into the clinch you'll see oh big right elbow landing there and there's a welt on the left for the left side of the forehead of Toomey now it's come up almost instantaneously doesn't it so it tells you the uh, sort of impact that that landed with yeah, yeah, another right again. Elbow. There you go. Toomey's left hand is not tying up that that right arm of uh, Liam Bro. Landed it and twice more, didn't he? On the same spot. Good finish to the round for him. Yeah, strong round to Blue there. Good oh. start. Absolutely. Well, as we mentioned, the uh, the first title belt that was due to be on the line, the ISK English title, Michael Kalunga won by default. And David, I don't know if you saw the photos from the weigh-in yesterday, but. One thing that I actually did think, and I was going to ask you about at the time, was Michael Pham's eyes look very red indeed in the photos. Not sure what the, the issue is, but they said he has had an eye infection of some sort. Yeah, some form of conjunctivitis. Or I actually was speaking to Michael about 10 minutes ago, and uh, his eyes are very red. They're completely bloodshot, very bloodshot basically. Me, yeah. uh, so, unfortunately, he wasn't able to see properly. I think he really wanted to see it out. He really wanted to, to get in there and have his have his English title bout, but it wouldn't have been safe to do so, and I think, unfortunately, the decision had to be made near the end to, to forfeit. Well, it sounds as if that uh, title contest will be rescheduled for Quarters, October with Michael Kalunga, the sort of interim champion, I suppose you would call it, until those two meet again. But a real shame for the crowd. Michael Pham, a great fan favourite, and, you know, look, and it looks perceived you. He's, uh, he's got the kind of boyish looks, but he's a menace inside the ropes. Yeah, very much so. Back to these two, though. I just saw that... Uh, yeah, I'm impressed with Liam, bro. He's very, very good. Uses his range well. That right elbow is never getting blocked. They're, they're using the forearms, bro. Just using the forearms to push away. I saw uh, Andy Housen saying to walk in and do the left uppercut elbow. Be interesting to see if he does it. Browns, uh, he's got a target to aim for above that left eye now, hasn't he? So, yeah, Toomey's ducking to his right and dropping his left a little bit. So. I can see why Bro is throwing the right elbow as he steps in. It makes sense. A long, long way to go still. I don't know how many times have we seen a, a fighter be behind over the first two and then come back to... There was that left elbow that Hosen said to do. Come back to storm through and take victory. Just didn't quite comb his hair enough with his hand. And it was a bit more of a forearm. Beautiful step in left knee there from the man from Legion's gym. Oh, the right elbow landing solid on the head of James Toomey. Oh, oh again. again, right elbow straight on the top of the head. Yep. Great body kick and too. Again, the elbow comes in behind the guard. Oh, right hand counter. Pretty aggressive stuff with the hands from both men, Dave. Yeah, but Liam just landing those kicks really well, scoring really well against Toomey. Again, dropping his man. Well, and try as he might, Toomey just can't seem to 
blocked that lead elbow. Oh, the knee driven into the midsection as well. Yeah, lovely left knee again. Just stepped through with it well. And Brow offensively, he's having a lot of success. Yeah, beautiful left body kicks. Unanswered, not blocked. Just needs to twist on those elbows a bit more to land the point rather than the forearm. Cool. A little spinning elbow attempt from uh, Toomey. That left knee is working so well for him. Well, Toomey, his, his durability is going to be tested surely here, Dave, if he keeps taking shots to the body into the head like this. Yeah, Toomey's a beast, though. He is a strong, strong lad. So do not be mistaken. These must be heavy shots. Oh, it's crashing Ooh, monitor. Whoa. Well, good response from Toomey, but he needed it too. And well, we've seen so many fighters try and pace themselves to the five rounds, absorb impact and come on strong, but he's going to have to absorb. He's going to have to try and limit the amount he absorbs because at the moment he's taking a hell of a, a barrage from Brow. He is, certainly is. That left body kick again. Goodness me, just missing Almost, again with the elbow. Yeah, that was at the instruction of uh, Hausen was saying step in, pull the hand down and elbow. You can see Toomey's left hand is dragging and dropping as he gets more tired. It's a very dangerous position to be in and uh, Hausen spotted it and telling his man step in, pull the hand down, throw the elbow over the top. Interesting bout. It is, you can see the, the, the reddening on the back of uh, in Brow there, but he's the man who's been offensively the most effective through round two. Yeah, he times that left body kick really well. For me, you, you, you would have thought, Dave, the number of elbows that he has landed over the left eye of uh, James Toomey, you would have thought that uh, perhaps he would have been at risk of a cut opening up. But as you say, perhaps it's because the that point doesn't... A, sorry to interrupt, that one there landed with a point. But uh, most of the other ones have been a little bit forearmy, um, just because he's not flicking the hand just quite enough. But... Like you 10 say, seconds. He's, uh, he's certainly certainly working for this and doing very well. Toomey's got it all to play for, but we are still early days. Seconds away. As we mentioned, the big main event tonight, John Wayne Park, Pavlos Kaponis to look forward to later on this evening. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we enter round three. This is where it steps up and that right elbow landing again left body kick again I mean it's almost been textbook there but did his leg just go there? It did absolutely yeah the front leg just went he went to touch it down and he's unable to put any pressure on it and all of a sudden the tie could maybe be turning yeah, here if the leg yeah. has been taken away of Liam Brown then Toomey senses Kettle's sh screaming there and pointing at the leg saying kick the leg kick the leg and he's looking at he's telegraphing the shot but he's going for it nonetheless oh, oh. oh. the right hand straight Three. right hand landing flushed by Liam oh. Brown and the problem is there Dave is that when you over commit to something he's up on his feet but the legs are all over the place puts his hands yeah. up can Toomey's he come done. forwards done. all over wobbling on his feet Look at his legs still aren't there. And Kieran Kendall had I waved know. his man forward to try and attack that leg, but all the while he was looking low, Liam Brown was looking high. And I know that I don't think Kendall was happy with that, but I do think that uh, Toomey's legs are gone. He couldn't you can step see forward there. properly. There was there was uh, there's a very fine line, Dave. I think when you uh, when you're asked to step forward, they're stepping forwards with confidence and precision yeah. and there's just kind of wobbling forwards I don't think he was on uh, yeah, steady yeah. legs at all I agree and if you're if you're not steady on your legs how are you going to defend yourself and then you're in a very vulnerable and dangerous position good call by the referee and always there for the fighters safety hard lines James Toomey let's have a look at the uh, the replay now as Liam Brown backs onto the road so that leg in danger you can see him there isn't he? he's trying to wind up for that big shot looking low and all the while the eyes are low oh one two there it was just, just that, simple, yeah, simple step stuff. On the one, two. And unfortunately for James Toomey, he was just had his all of his eyes looking below the waist. Look where his left hand is. Goodness me, absolutely caught cold, wasn't he? And Brow all the time was just waiting for that shot. Yeah, left hand was down by his waist. Wow. Um, so yeah, at that. But actually, it was uh, it was pretty timely as far as Liam Brown was concerned because he was in a bit of trouble there, Dave. Yeah, his leg was going massively. Even when he was blocking, he wasn't good on there. Watch this, one, two, bang, on the jaw. Great shot. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for both men, please.
And after 55 seconds completed of the third round, your referee, Mr. Chris Podesta, has stopped the contest. Teaming James Toomey in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner by TKO, fighting out of the blue corner, Liam Borough. And show your appreciation for our game runner-up, James Toomey. Welcome back, it's Muay Thai Grand Prix 5 and unfortunately, uh, Jamie, that was a very, very tough fight indeed for you, but uh, you really, really gave you your all. How did you feel? Just a bit guided really, like, just my, mind, my mind went flowing right, didn't really get myself going to be honest. I think you had a, a fair yeah. few few uh, low kicks in the end, but uh, it wasn't enough, I, feel, I think he just uh, overpowered you towards the end. Yeah, yeah, he just... Caught me with a shot, I didn't see it. I, I thought I was all right, I got back up. I was ready to go again, obviously. The referee made his decision, but fair play to him. He was, I'd say he was in front. Had a good fight though, uh, well done, congratulations nonetheless. Uh, yeah, hopefully you. see you soon at the MTGP6. Yeah, thank you.